Missouri became the 24th state to join the United States of America. It is the 18th most populous state, with a population of 6,137,428 people as of 2019. Kansas, Iowa, Kentucky, Illinois, Tennessee, Arkansas, Oklahoma, and Nebraska all border Missouri. It is the 21st largest state, covering 69,715 square miles of land and water. Jefferson City, Missouri's capital is located in the state center. Now that the fast facts are behind us, let's look at the more interesting facts about Missouri. Number 1. There's no official way to pronounce Missouri. It's pretty common for some places around the world to have difficult to pronounce names that end up confusing almost all who try to speak it. Missouri isn't an outlier when it comes to this idea, but it takes it to a whole new level. Missouri is the only state in the United States where there is no single right pronunciation. Missouri residents say Miss or E, Missouri, and even Miss or E when referring to their home state. Linguists have spent a long time trying to figure out why people pronounce the state differently and have come up with no logical reason. Instead, they confirm that the differences in pronunciation among Missouri residents have nothing to do with geography or culture. Number 2. Missouri doesn't actually translate into muddy water. For a long time, people have claimed that Missouri roughly means muddy water, but it's actually completely wrong. Instead, the state of Missouri was named after the Missouri tribe of Sawan Native Americans. The most likely explanation for the name Missouri is that it was given by nearby tribes who spoke a Miami, Illinois language. Those who have dug up canoes, it approximately translates. Number 3. Missouri has no official state nickname. There are a lot of nicknames for the state, but none of them are official. The most common unofficial moniker for Missouri is Show Me State, which has even made it into the state's license plates. Number 4. People have lived in Missouri for at least 10,000 years. The Paleo Indians first arrived in North America circa 12,000 BC. The Paleo Indians arrived in Alaska, North America, via the Bering Strait which served as a land bridge between the two continents because to lower sea levels. Throughout the United States, archaeological evidence of Paleo-Indian occupancy dating back to 12,000 BC can be found. The first indication of people establishing down in the state for any length of time dates back to 7,000 BC. Even so, these early people would have mostly been hunters and gatherers. By 1,000 BC, complex cultures had emerged, such as the Mississippi culture which had a number of cities with over a thousand inhabitants. This civilization had, on the whole or less collapsed by that time, when European arrived in 1,673. Number 5. The first Europeans to reach Missouri were the French. Jacques Marquette, a Jesuit priest, and Louis Joliet, an explorer, were the first Europeans to cross through what is now known as Missouri. They left Michigan on canoes with just five additional men in 1,673. They went down the Mississippi River to within 435 miles approximately 700 kilometers of the Gulf of Mexico before turning around. They meticulously mapped the regions they traveled through. St. Genevieve, the first genuine French settlement, was created considerably later in 1,750 in La Louisiana, later Louisiana, a territory of New France. Number 6. Missouri's land changed many times before it became a U.S. state. The French and Indian War set off immediately after France founded St. Genevieve, which France eventually lost to Britain in 1763. Near the end of the war, France handed up authority of the Louisiana to Spain, which continued to develop the territory with the help of French immigrants fleeing British rule. Until 1800, Spain owned and developed the region, during which time they supported America during the American Revolution. In 1800, Napoleon Bonaparte retook possession of Missouri for France, but in 1803, he sold it to the United States as part of the Louisiana Purchase. In 1804, Missouri was annexed to the District of Louisiana, which became Louisiana Territory in 1805. The Louisiana Territory was then divided into two halves. Number 7. Missouri went to war with Iowa over a border dispute. 
Because the original survey that delineated Missouri's northern border with Wisconsin Territory was so imprecise, Missouri attempted to modify it in 1837 to their benefit. Number 8. Mark Twain was born in Missouri. On November 30, 1835, he was born Samuel Langhorne Clemens, and it was until later in life that he adopted the name Mark Twain for his writing career. Twain was born in the Missouri village of Florida, but grew up in the nearby town of Hannibal. Twain worked for a few tiny news outlets in his early years before quitting everything to become a riverboat pilot on the Mississippi River for 18 months. He didn't compose his masterpieces until much later in life, after the Civil War, and based them largely on his own experiences on the Mississippi River. Number 9. There are apparently more fountains in Kansas City, Missouri, than in Rome. It's one of those facts that seems impossible to be real. With that stated, no one knows for sure, despite the fact that Kansas City tour guides have been proclaiming it as God's truth for quite some time. The problem is that no one has actually measured how many fountains there are in Rome, and no one has accurately counted how many fountains there are in Kansas City. The City of Fountains Foundation attempted to address the problem by counting the fountains, but only found 200 of them. There are many more, according to the assertion in various locations, such as within private land. Number 10. The world's first ready-made pancake mix was invented in Missouri. There was a surplus of flour in St. Joseph, Missouri, around the close of the 19th century. Two enterprising young people from St. Joseph's had an idea that would transform the morning food game forever. They used flour, baking powder, corn flour, and salt, among other simple and affordable items. Then they marketed it as a self-rising pancake mix, making it the world's first commercially available pancake mix. Anch Gemma's Pancake Mix was launched to the market in 1889. Number 11. Missouri was hit by the deadliest tornado in U.S. history. Missouri lies smack dab in the middle of Tornado Alley, a stretch of the central United States that runs north to south and sees more than its fair share of violent thunderstorms and tornadoes all year. With that incense, it's almost unexpected that Missouri was the setting of the harmful tornado ever taped in the U.S. On March 18, 1925, a catastrophic force known as the Tri-State Tornado erupted near Ellington, Missouri. It ripped through Missouri, Indiana, and Illinois, killing 695 people and wounding more than 2,000. More than 15,000 homes were thought to have been entirely destroyed, with many small villages never recovering. Number 12. Two of the most famous Wild West outlaws came from Missouri. Jesse Woodson James and Alexander Franklin Frank James were born in the mid-19th century in Kearney, Missouri. The brothers became outlaws when the Confederates were defeated, in order to fight against the new Union way of life. Over the course of 15 years, they robbed banks, stagecoaches, and trains, and were closely followed by the infamous Pinkerton Detective Agency. Many people at the time were fascinated by Jesse and Frank's narrative, seeing them as either bloodthirsty ex-Confederate filth or heroes battling for a lost cause. In any case, everywhere they went, a trail of bodies was always left behind.